welcome today we are going to discuss how to merge uh, two different data sets or three different data sets many times we have survey data sets where we have a separate file for male for female for children and we need to merge those files similarly if you have one data source from wdi world development indicators you have data source from another uh, uh, you have data from an other source and some countries are missing in one some countries are missing in the other so how you can combine those two data sets so you can merge those data sets if then we have three four very simple commands which which are very helpful for merging those data sets at the moment we have this data personal details we have five students and their names and their addresses so we have this data set and the courses uh, stu uh, students id uh, along with student id are 2358 and the name of the courses okay now if we get print so we have five students in uh, print uh, 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 this uh, data uh, source which is called uh, personal details and we have four students which has uh, uh, details about courses now if we want to merge these data sets now you see in one file we have one to five and in another we have two three four five and eight how can we merge these data sets there are four different commands for merging this data set the first one is left join it means data on the left will have all the entries and data on the right will have only those entries uh, 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 which are available in the left and some non and, and uh, not available values so you see all those five students five uh, who are in the first data set but since we don't have any course registered against this registered against this so you have n name so th this data is all entries from left but only those entries which are uh, from the right are written and the others are not available the other one is right join so how you can have this right join so you have all the entries from the right this course and the, uh, the data on the left that has na in this last row because it it's not available then we have inner join inner join means common values which are available in both okay that is this uh, student id name address course one thing which is very important while merging this these, these data sets you must have a unique id available in both the files now you see you have student id here in this case and student id in this case if you don't have the single unique id file then then it's not possible to merge and the final thing is full join full join means that all values are uh, retained and uh, where those values are missing those are made as not available so I hope this will help you in merging many last data sets as well as commands will remain the same and procedure will remain the same. So there are there is one requirement that you must have unique ID in both files available and then you can merge these data sets easily. Thank you for watching. Take care.